Good evening. So my work is balanced somewhere between two polarities. On one hand, there is a will of constructive creation of an organic space, concentration of object or landforms. On the other hand, there is abstraction, a reduction of appearance within elementary extensions. Majority of my works are realized in a big scale canvas. My conscious of physical presence in front of the picture is lost by being attached to the picture. Abstraction is the best kind of study because it substitutes the standard, standard uh, real model, model learning method. When doing a figural painting based on a photography, I'm working with my abstractive skills and inserting them into the painting. Photography is used just uh, informatively as a rough sketch. My biggest intention is the reposition to concept of a painting to be a part of architecture. Cutting the painting into smaller pieces creates a concept of a blank white cube space. Painting becomes an object and its two-dimensionality is diminished in the direction of the object. Cutting my artworks come from building materials. As a little boy, I lived in a house which was both in the process of demolition and construction. You see a garden which I paint a dozen times, but every time differently as technically impressive land cut. What fascinates me is emptiness, which appealed on me from the painting, similarly when looking out of window. The painting suddenly became a complex structure which is being looked through. A painting is a protective vacuum which we should use to escape the reality surrounding us. Gradually, with the sense of romance, I started to recall structures and when years from my childhood. Physical appearance of these nets allowed me to combine abstraction and works uh, with urban forms. Uh, a tree... Uh, uh, a tree top composed of 600 small sized parts, I realized that my own consciously created idea of what a painting is may not be deriving from a real life experience. That's why I unreached structural analogies by my own memory. This artwork, artwork originally comes from Garden of Luxembourg. I've chosen from example uh, a small format, just to magnify structural appearance. Here I am working with a massive relief of netting. Picture consists from complexity of drawing details which were void of photographic quality. Another Luxembourg garden, my internal perception came from a quiet walk which encouraged my feelings coming from atmosphere. Besides, this artwork has a generic character. It doesn't play an illustrative role because it appears to be more of an object than a painting. I achieved this by using a relief uh, and a huge oil past. The intention behind the attached nets is used to emphasize and impressive quality of the scene. This seems to be as a decomposer of our sense of acceptance to a pixel, digital raster. Gradually, I've turned my focus to impulses coming from media. These impulses are not from a personal experience. So now we see the product composed of my mother attending the parliamentary elections, combining media and uh, real life. Here we can see the portrait of an elected president as reported reality. A well-known figure, but personally indifferent man. Yet looking at this painting, we, we have the opportunity to lively accept him as a human being in a contemplative way in authentic experience. My place of work, Paris, considering that street view is industrially arranged, unorganic. I have decided to compose the past material of wine glass shatter. I also sticked artificial grass carpets to the three row. The painting became haptically more provocative. We see Christmas tree and living birds used as a decoration revealed under light of artificial colorful candles. 
In a figurative painting, I'm particularly interested in the moment of reaching a lively illusion being compared with non-living material. I applied raw X on, and pigment on a real person model. By following photographs, I've achieved the eff effect of a colorful archaic sculpture Kuros. Basically, the clash between the presence of a human model with the notion of limited historicity damaging a sculptural substrate. A bathing woman is situated in a blank, museum-like silence and appears only as a sculpt material. Her body has a foreign structure emerging to be hurting. Physical presence of a figure is indeed unreached by a substrate inspired by Egyptian scribe in French Louvre. Damaged parts of the sculpture somehow redefine space. Space creation of a sculpture is not determined just by the angle of a light, but also arrangement of the fellow pieces on a shady background. Time also affects the process of space, of space building. Under figurative illustration, treat, I was unable to find an opportunity for capturing movement. So again, I decided to cut my paintings into pieces so it compels with architecture and works with surrounding environment. Nevertheless, I could manage to use a baroque composition. Concentration of figures is based on a drawing. Children were portrayed to be angelic, then uh, that later on become uh, ordinary secular. They are being held by hands of their parents symbolizing wings. 